Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to add a looper to the Quad Cortex. So I started a series a while ago called Music Apps with Coffee. Some of the apps now on the iPhone, the iPad and Android are absolutely incredible. With these apps, you don't need to use them with anything, but they integrate really well into these new pedals like the Quad Cortex. I plan on bringing that series back with a focus on the Quad Cortex. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of when I upload them. I just got the Quad Cortex and I absolutely love this pedal. It's absolutely amazing. But as you may know, at launch, there is no looper. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add a looper with one cable, one accessory you have to buy using my iPhone. You can also use an iPad or Android device for this using the app called Quantaloop. Quantaloop is such an amazing looper app. It really is fantastic. It's one of my favorites. I know that some people don't want to use apps, but trust me, you have to give this a look. For the price, it's unbelievable and it will integrate with the Quad Cortex and give you the most simple looper, maybe a one button looper if you want, or it will give you one of the most advanced loopers you could ever try. In the future, I'll go into Quantaloop in more detail, but today let's just add a basic looper to our Quad Cortex. So for this, you're just going to need a way to connect the Quad Cortex to your iPhone. I'm using the iPhone today. I'll focus on the iPhone. So I need the camera connector kit, which will have a lightning port to a USB port where you connect the Quad Cortex. You just plug it in, it will detect it and it will work. There's also a pass through for a power connector. So if you're doing a long gig, you'd want to plug it into power, but it will run for a while without power. So you can actually just use your phone with this one cable connected with no power supply to the phone if you had a 100% battery life, but it's advisable obviously to charge up while you're playing a long session. I will put my Amazon affiliate link below to this accessory so you can buy the right one. There's also another one that I use which has two USB ports so you could potentially plug in a MIDI controller as well, such as the MC8 by Morningstar. If you're using a newer iPad, you might need USB-C and there's many docks and dongles with that on. I'll put some links to those as well. I don't use Android, but I'm sure it will work well with that too. If you try it out, please let me know in the comments below. So let's get started. What I've done is I've got the Quad Cortex here on the table. I'll show you how to put the settings into that. And then I have the screen of my phone. So the first step here is to take the included USB cable and connect it to the back of the Quad Cortex and then plug it into the camera connection kit into your phone. So it should look like this. If you then look at my phone screen, you will see my phone. Now, the first thing I want to show you is this is just automatically sending audio. So you can actually jam along to YouTube or your backing tracks immediately. It will just pass it through the quad cortex out to the front. And there is a level setting in the quad cortex as well to adjust the level of these tracks. But before we even begin, this is the audio going through. This is one of my songs here. So I've got in between. If I play it, you should hear it right here. And it's so So there you go, straight away, you can just start jamming. And no matter how good a guitar modeling pedal is, they sound so much better when you jam with backing tracks, in my opinion. So that's the first step. So the next step is to purchase the app Quantaloop, which I highly, highly recommend. There are two versions on the App Store. I really recommend that you purchase the full version. I think you're gonna like it a lot. Well, I know I like it a lot. And it looks like this. Now I will say, when I first got this app, I was kind of freaked out, but don't be freaked out. It's not very hard to use. I will make a full tutorial on this app. You have here track one, track two, track three, track four. You have four tracks and a metronome, which could also be a drum machine. This is incredibly powerful. You also have overdubs and you can set each track as you want. You can completely customize this looper. This could potentially be the most powerful looper there is. Having said that, Today, we're just going to use track one. We can just set this up as a one track looper, which we'll do today, which will still make it as powerful as something like a Helix or a Kemper. In fact, more powerful because this has much more looping time. This is only limited by your device. It's absolutely crazy. So let me just show you how to set it up. Okay, we'll go over to the Quad Cortex to begin with, and I'll show you the settings over there. So this part is quite simple. If I exit out of my tuner here, I got my guitar plugged in. And what I'll do is, this is a preset that I've made. I will go to the settings up here, settings, and you'll find MIDI settings. So tap on that. 
The default channel is one. I've selected 10 because most MIDI devices are on one and you might get some conflicts. So I've chosen a unique channel, which is 10. MIDI through is on in case I want to send that MIDI out to another device in the future. And MIDI over USB is definitely on because that's what we're doing today, MIDI over USB. Another good thing to know if you swipe down is that you get your output settings and on here, if you click on USB, you can actually change the level. And that's all your channels. Now, these channels are very important. These channels process the audio differently. For example, the audio goes straight through some of them, and some of them it goes through without effects. You would use that to reamp in your door. But for this, we want the effects, or at least I do. I want the effects to be recorded in the looper. So let's jump over to the app, and I'll show you what you do over there. This is the screen. So on here, we need to start with our input. Here's our input. Now, input one is the guitar. You can see I've selected three and four. You just tap on there and it says, which one do you want? So I tapped on it, physical input, and it should show us our inputs from the quad cortex right there, three and four. Now, why have I chosen three and four? Well, that's because it will have the effects on. Three and four from quad cortex keeps the effects. So let me just test this out. So you can hear the reverb trails, right? You can clearly hear it's there. And then I've actually turned off the monitor here. This was on, and I've got that turned off. The one, two, three, four mean where will that input record to? So this will record to all four tracks. You could turn those off if you didn't want it to record to some tracks for some reason. But I want this to work on everything. Okay, so, so far so good. This should actually work now. Now there's many settings in here for like a counting, when the metronome starts, when it stops. I'll definitely cover that in another video. But the way I have it set up right now is this. It should count me in at 82 beats per minute. And I can play. So I actually use my hand there. You don't actually need to use the pedal at all. You can use this on a mic stand with your hands if you want to. And that click track can even be routed via the USB outputs through the quad cortex into in-ears so the audience doesn't hear it. How cool is that? So we've already added, with this one cable, backing tracks, a metronome, and a four track looper. Of course, we want to use the foot switches as well. I highly recommend you check out the Morningstar MC8. You could potentially program that, those eight switches to do all of this and then have that beside your quad cortex. But let's just say we want to keep everything on the quad cortex for the most compact setup possible. Well, what you need to do is go to MIDI in on this app. See, it says in there. Now MIDI channel, I've selected as 10, and MIDI is turned on. And then there's these control assignments. So this is where you set up all your programming. So let's say to start with, we want record, play, overdub, track one. That's almost like a one button looper, right? So tap on that, it says CC20. So it says, action is record, play, dub, track one, and double tap is stop. All right, fine. Now we can change that. If you tap on those, you can change them to whatever you want. But let's do that, let's set it up. So it's number 20, CC20. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the quad cortex. Now what's really, really cool here is if you press this on the top right, it actually says preset MIDI out. When you press on that, it gives you like a command center. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H each have the possibility of sending a MIDI command when you press them. So E, you can see E here, I've already programmed this. CC 10, channel 10, CC number 20, value zero. Then if I go to the app and click on learn, it says tap and release once and press that switch, the switch E. It goes away, then press save. Now I've just programmed that to access that button. Let me just delete what I have on this one using the device. I'm gonna press E and watch what happens on the app. It started the canyon. It's recording. And if I press it again, it's playing. Obviously, there's nothing there because I didn't play any guitar. And if I press again, it's overdubbing. Press it again, it's playing. Press it twice, it stops at the end of the bar. And you can set that to stop at the end of the bar or the end of the loop or immediately. 
That's why this is such a cool looper. The only thing I need now is to delete it. So I haven't got a delete option yet. I'll put delete on F. So at any time I can just delete everything that's in my looper. Remember, I can still use my hands as well. I can reach over and hold down that button there. It says start, stop, hold to clear. I could just do that. So let's add the clear all to F. So I'll go to MIDI in and MIDI control assignments. And if there isn't a clear all, you can set your own action. So just tap on user defined, find clear all. That's what I've done here. And it says clear all is CC 12. Okay. So I shall go back to the device, the quad cortex, tap on F CC 12. Great. I've done that. Fantastic. Then I shall go back to the app. And in that setting, I'll just make sure it's programmed, control assignments, clear all, learn, press that switch. I always press save as well. I think this is the way to do it. It works for me, so I'll stick with it. And there we go. Now if I press F, everything's deleted. I now have a two button looper. Let me just play something for you. So what did you think? I've just added effectively a two button looper here on E and F. I recorded a track with a count in, then I played over it with an overdub, then I took a little solo, I stopped it with two taps, it ended at the end of the bar, or the end of the loop, and I pressed F and it deleted it. I've just effectively added a two button looper here, and all I had to do was to use one cable to plug my phone into the quad cortex, and it worked flawlessly. Remember, this isn't just for the Quad Cortex. This app can be used by itself. It can be used with the FM3. It can certainly be used by the Helix, but it just seems to work so cool with the Quad Cortex because the Quad Cortex looks great with that fancy screen. And then your phone on the mic stand looks great with it. And when they eventually add an, an editor to control your Quad Cortex from the mic stand, maybe it's worth then having a good iPad on a mic stand to change your patches and run the looper. And that's not just this app we can use with it. We can use any app. We can use drum machines. We can use apps in tandem with each other. So there's so much potential here. Like I said, I'm going to resurrect my series Music Apps with Coffee, and I'm going to use them with the Quad Cortex. So do subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see some of those. There's some really cool things. There's a lot of amazing apps that I bet people haven't even found yet. And there's a lot that I haven't found yet. If you know of any, put them in the comments below. But I've got some really cool ones. There's ones where you can trigger keyboard pads with your feet or with the with the switches on the quad cortex. There's um, piano apps. There's MIDI guitar apps. This can all be done with the apps and with this one cable. So do yourself a favor. If you've got a quad cortex or a pedal like this, order yourself that cable. Get to work with Quantaloop, and I'll be back soon with more videos about Quantaloop and other apps. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified when I have more videos like this one. Until then, happy looping. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.